Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I have this really nice brown smoky eyes for you guys. Somebody, um, one of my subscribers had asked me to do like a smoky eyes for dark skin. So um, this was what I came up with. Not what I had in mind, but I guess this will pass for like a nice neutral brown smoky eyes so um yeah and today i'm rocking you know the natural hair okay i gotta bring it out once in a while <laughs> anyway so this is the look guys um i really hope you guys like this look and if you want to see how i achieve the look keep on watching so i'm gonna start with my um makeup forever smoothing primer and i'm just putting that in my on my eye area just where I'm gonna you know work with for the meantime using my Sephora concealer in number 17 I'm just putting that right underneath my brows and I just want you know so that when I use the eyeshadow base it's a blend smoothly I'm just using my fingers using my MAC paint pot in groundwork I'm putting that on my eyelid as my eyeshadow base I really like this as an eyeshadow base, it's just that if it dries up if you don't, you know, work with it fast. Now I'm going into my Morphe 35OM palette, I am putting that, using that uh, shade as my transition color. This was a little bit darker than what I wanted, actually this whole entire eye look was not what I wanted. But yeah, anyways, going into my uh, Zulu palette, my Juvia Space Zulu palette, I am just putting that. Um, brown color in my crease I'm going back into that palette and I'm taking a lighter shade to use as my transition color because like I said it was too dark now taking that darker brown shade I am going to put that in my crease again I'm just putting um, this color now at the outer part of my eyes at the outer V of my eyes and I'm going back with that um, with that other brown to blend now going back into this darker brown shade as you can see I'm going to like from a lighter brown going darker 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 so yeah I'm going back into that same shade I use as my transition color, the second trans transition color I use. And I'm just putting that in my center lead. I'm using this flat brush. And then I'm taking this um, neutral color and I'm putting that in the inner corners of my eye. And I am blending. I'm just going back to, you know, to blend everything together. Now I'm taking this darker, almost black color. I did not want to use like um, like an eyeliner or something, like a, like a, something for my top lashes. But as you can see, it did not really come out. So, anyways, taking those two primers, my Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer and my Becca Primer, I'm gonna put the Becca on on my T zone. Using my Estee Lauder Primer, my two in one. Estee Lauder primer in espresso and I'm just using my fingers to apply that and then I'm spreading that over then I'm gonna use a buffing brush this buffing brush did not really do much because it already had product in it to be honest that's why and the foundation was just too wet for it so yeah I just went ahead with my beauty blender and I blended Now using my Eligo Pro Concealer in Chestnut, I'm just going to apply that in the areas I want to highlight. You guys should please forgive my voice. I'm just right about waking up and aside that, I'm, I, I have kind of like my sinuses are acting up so I've been sneezing. So forgive the voice, okay? I sound, I sound really croggy or foggy or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just using my beauty blender to blend that concealer out with my foundation. I just go back and forth with the place with the side that I use to blend my foundation and the side I use to 
blend my concealer to blend everything. Now I'm setting my face with um, my Airspun translucent powder mixed with my Laura Mercier, my Laura Mercier trans, translucent powder in medium. Well, it's not translucent, it's the medium one, which is like brown. So I just mix both of them and I set my face with that. And I push it into my skin as opposed to leaving it there to bake per se. And then using those colors, I'm going to contour my face. Then I'm cleaning underneath that contour with that same mixture of setting powder. And I'm gonna take that off immediately and also the rest of my face. I'm taking everything off without any product um, on my powder brush. I'm just taking it off. And now I'm gonna use my bare minerals. Um, foundation powder i believe that's what it is i've been really liking this powder lately so anyways i'm just like um taking everything off with that and blending my whole face together i'm taking that same brush i used to contour my nose i'm just pinching it together and i'm contouring my nose with it Just blending that out and I go back with my contour, a little bit more contour and I bring out that contour again. Now I'm taking my um, Maybelline Neo Gel Liner, I'm lining my eyes like I said, um, the one I put earlier, the, the eyeshadow I used earlier did not really work and I also put that in my waterline but um, I lost that footage or my camera was not recording when I went. I thought it was recording and it wasn't. Anyways, I'm going in with um, the colors I use on my top lid, the dark brown, the dark, the darker color I use at my outer V and the dark brown and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes as well just to kind of give like a little bit smoky effect. And using my Becca highlighter in Topaz, I love this highlighter and I'm just using that to highlight my face. So starting with my brow bone, I am just, I had like every, I always have pimples on my eyebrow. I don't know if I'm the only one that has this, like I don't know. Once in a while, one pimple or the other comes out there so you can see it with the highlighter there. And so I'm just highlighting my cheekbones, my forehead. Do you know the drill? The bridge of my nose, my cupid's phone. And I'm also highlighting the inner corners of my eyes a little bit. Now I'm going into my Sleek Cosmetics blush palette. I'm taking the pink and the orange at the two outer, those two colors at the outer part. Starting with the pink and then I put the orange on top of that. I really love this blush. Now I'm going to set my face with my best, uh, those are my favorite setting sprays right now. The NYX Matte and Dewy Spray. I first of all spray the matte then I put the dewy one on top of that. And you want to find that in immediately so it sits. And then onto the lips, I'm using my uh, NYX brow pencil as per usual, lining my lips. And then I'm using my ColourPop Cosmetics um, Matte Lipstick in Limbo. And I'm just using this to sort of line the lips again and not necessarily putting a lot in the in, in the center part and using my nyx intense lip gloss in brittle i'm just putting that in the center so i kind of cleaned up the center part with my finger before putting in the gloss so that you know the gloss shows a bit more and yeah and I'm just going to line the lips a little bit. And that is it, guys. Well, 
adding a little bit of highlighter on my cupid's bow <laughs> that is it so this is the finished look guys um let me know what your thoughts are on this look this is just like a twist out that was not so i just had like donkey twist outs underneath my wig and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna let it out so it wasn't like a planned twist out per se but you know what i'm feeling it a little bit just a little bit <laughs> you know my hair is acting up right now but this is what i have for you guys um so yeah thank you so much guys for watching if you haven't liked please like the video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel i would really really appreciate it if you want to share the video please do share the video so yeah don't forget to leave and not exist guys okay and remain blessed have a blessed day week or whatever <laughs> bye guys i will see you in my next video Gonna give me hunger, spend everything where I get for you, give anything where you want me to.